Welcome to my channel I aim to upload these news top 10 summaries daily. Links to all articles in the description if one grabs your attention. From Huff Post under the main headline of Michael Gove expects tens of thousands of Ukrainian refugees will be welcomed to UK. Summary of headline article. Jeff Overs via PA Media Michael Gove has said he expects tens of thousands of Ukrainians to come to the UK once the government's new refugee scheme is up and running. The government has been condemned for the speed and scale of its efforts to bring fleeing Ukrainians to the UK. Advertisement until now. The visa route for people fleeing the war in Ukraine has been limited to those with family members settled in the UK. Speaking to the BBC's Sunday morning programme, Gove was asked how many Ukrainians the government believed would come to the UK. It's an uncapped scheme. From the sun under the main headline of journalist shot and killed in Ukraine. Summary of headline article. An American journalist was reportedly shot dead while fleeing from Russian soldiers who opened fire at him after he stumbled upon their checkpoint in Ukraine. Five journalist Brent Reno has reportedly been shot dead in a pin just outside of Kiev credit. Juan Arredondo, who was wounded in the lower back, told Italian journalist Annalisa Camilli he and Mr. Reno were shot after they were stopped at a checkpoint just after a bridge in a pin. Mr. Arredondo said his colleague, who he named as Mr. Reno, was hit in the neck and remained on the ground earlier on Sunday. Of course, the profession of a journalist is a risk. But U.S. citizen Brent Reno paid his life for trying to highlight the aggressor's ingenuity, cruelty and ruthlessness. From The Guardian under the main headline of Russia-Ukraine War Latest News. Dozens reportedly dead after military base hit. U.S. journalist killed by Russian forces. Summary of headline article. 1400 Brent Reno. An award-winning U.S. filmmaker whose work has appeared in the New York Times and other outlets has been killed by Russian forces in the flashpoint town of Apin. Outside Kiev, Reno, 51, was hit in the neck and died after coming under Russian fire while working in Apin on Sunday, according to local police officials and multiple Ukrainian sources. Jane Ferguson. A reporter for PBS NewsHour who was nearby when Renault was killed. Tweeted. Just left roadside spot near a pin where body of American journalist Brent Renault lay under a blanket. Outraged Ukrainian police officer. Tell America. Tell the world. What they did to a journalist. Jane Ferguson. At Jane Ferguson 5. Just left roadside spot near a pin where body of American journalist Brent Reno lay under a blanket. This news was reported earlier in this blog without Brent Reno's name while The Guardian confirmed the details. From Metro under the main headline of Putin, crazy enough to use nukes. Summary of headline article. To view this video please enable JavaScript and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video Vladimir Putin will destroy the world if he is left unchecked and is crazy enough to use nukes. A Russian opposition politician has warned Leonid Volkov, the former chief of staff for Alexei Navalny's 2018 presidential bid, said we can expect unfortunately everything from the Russian president. And his fears have been echoed by Poland's premier, Andrzej Duda, who believes Putin could use anything right now. Mr. Volkov told Sky News Sophie Ridge on Sunday program an enormous cost must be paid to stop the war. But this cost has to be paid because otherwise Putin will just destroy the world. 
from The Guardian under the main headline of Woman Fleeing Ukraine War Dies in Bus Crash in Italy. Summary of headline article. A woman has been killed when a bus carrying Ukrainian refugees overturned on a motorway in Italy. The 32-year-old and her two children, aged 10 and 5, were among 22 people on board escaping the war in Ukraine, according to reports in the Italian press. The woman died at the scene and her children were taken to Buffalini Hospital with bruises. As of Saturday almost 35,000 Ukrainian refugees had arrived in Italy. Most of them women and children. Italy is managing the process as part of the EU's Temporary Protection Directive. An instrument drawn up in 2001 and activated this month. Which allows member states to give immediate protection to Ukrainian refugees. From Sky News under the main headline of Ukraine War. In the name of God. Stop this massacre. Pope's message to Vladimir Putin. Summary of headline article. Pope Francis has called on Vladimir Putin to stop the massacre in Ukraine. Warning cities risk being reduced to cemeteries. He said that this unacceptable armed aggression against Ukraine must stop. Pick. APHE said Mariupol, the southern Ukrainian city which bears the name of the Virgin Mary, had become a city martyred by the heartbreaking war. Russian soldiers pillaged a humanitarian convoy that was trying to reach Mariupol and blocked another. A Ukrainian official said in a video address on Sunday. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky said nearly 125,000 people have been evacuated via humanitarian corridors from conflict zones. From the Independent under the main headline of Michael Gove a Euro exploring a Euro whether he can house Ukrainian refugee personally. Summary of headline article. Cabinet Minister Michael Gove is interested in housing a refugee from Ukraine. As he revealed he is exploring how to personally support those fleeing the Russian invasion. The leveling up minister set out details of the new sponsorship route. Allowing Britons to offer homes to Ukrainian refugees and receive a thank you payment of £350 per month. Asked on the BBC's Sunday morning program he would take in a Ukrainian refugee. Mr. Gove said. Yes. He added. I'm exploring what I can do. I know that there are others who have. Mr. Gove said individuals and community groups would use social media to connect with refugees. Adding that charities would help in the matching process. The SNP leader said on Sunday that Scotland stands ready to take 3,000 Ukrainian refugees immediately. From Mail Online under the main headline of Brit shot dead in front of his daughter. Summary of headline article. Police have named and pictured the two men who carried out the execution style killing of businessman Chris Cleave in front of his teenage daughter. Cleve was driving though the city of Cancun when two men ambushed him at the popular tourist resort. Mr. Cleve, who is originally from Truro, Cornwall, had lived in Mexico for more than a decade. Witnesses said the men opened fire though the open window, killing Cleve instantly. The incident occurred less than a month after two Canadians were gunned down and a third was. Wounded in a hotel in Playa del Carmen south of Cancun on the same coastline. From iNews under the main headline of a Euro way a Euro re not a baby factory a Euro. Ukraine surrogacy agency boss on balancing conflicting fears. Summary of headline article. I understand both sides and know that intended parents are scared and frightened as the surrogates are carrying their child. She said. It works with foreign couples including those from the UK, the US and Australia. 
and she says it is a fraught time for intended parents and the surrogates carrying their babies. However, she said their treatment has been stopped as all surrogacy programs are cancelled and their priority is to support the surrogates who are pregnant and their intended parents. I respect and understand why the intended parents want the surrogates to move out of Ukraine. But I can also appreciate the worries of the surrogates. After hearing so many stories from parents about their failed IVF attempts before surrogacy, you realize that surrogates help build families. From Daily Star under the main headline of Belarus Hospital, full of dead Russians as docs, sign. NDAs. Report claims summary of headline article. Sign up to the Daily Star's newsletter Bodies of Dead and Injured Russian Fighters are piling up. Throughout hospitals in Belarus as the brutal war in Ukraine rages on. Doctors have been forced to sign non-disclosure agreements and threatened with losing their job if they tell people what's happening. According to Radio Free Europe. One video showed truckloads of military vehicles progressing through Belarus's cities Homil, Maza, and Narulia take in corpses and injured soldiers. Another clip showed frozen Russian bodies left scattered on the floor after intense fighting with Ukrainian forces. Image. AFP via Getty Images. One top Ukrainian soldier said corpses of enemy soldiers would become food for stray dogs. Many thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to get your daily notifications. Have a great day. Thank you for your support. Goodbye.